Thank you, Lisa. As I look back over 40 years uh, since the uh, beginning of the Groundwater Management Act, I think there are three important strands of success that have come together to make it work so well. The first one is, of course, the assured water supply. That was a new concept. I don't think it had ever been tried anywhere. Uh, and it was really important to say to developers, as a condition of going forward, you've got to show a 100-year water supply. The second feature was we created the Department of Water Resources because in order to make this work, we really had to have a strong, effective regulatory system. And of course, the third component was the Central Arizona Project because as we put this together, the CAP was just about ready to come to Phoenix just several years later. And we couldn't have made this thing work without the CAP and the Colorado River water. Now, with those strands coming together, uh, we've had an enormous success. Uh, it's really worked well. There's been, of course, change and innovation. Uh, that's, we're going to need more of that going forward because we're going to be dealing with new problems in terms of growth, climate change, uh, possibly decreasing water supplies in the Colorado River. But the important lesson from the last 40 years is we've managed to work together to form an Arizona consensus to keep everybody kind of in the boat, if you will. And that's the most important fact of all. It's what we've got to make sure that we keep that Arizona spirit, the consensus, the working together uh, going forward. And if we do that, uh, I'm absolutely confident that uh, we're going to have a great future and that we'll continue to make a lot of progress and that Arizona will have a sustainable, resilient uh, water supply for the next 40 years.